No one believed that Iraq wasn't in possession of weapons of mass destruction, even though Iraq claimed they weren't. But when they arrived at Baghdad, the biggest threat was the scattered militias with AK-47 and car bombs. In 2003, by mid-April, Saddam's regime collapsed. In 2004, Saddam Hussein uh, was sent to jail, and the same year, his son was killed. Iraq's civic and economic ceased to function, and the situation got worse for every month. In November, uh, American soldiers searched and cleaned buildings in Baghdad. In 2005, the Americans made another in initiative and their desire of making Iraq a de democracy in 2006. The letters written by the soldiers describe the development in the war and how the situation is down there. They start before the war and ends after the war. We hear about the soldiers transforming from a normal guy and into a military guy. These guys become a part of a unit, and as said in Michael Michalik's letter of the 2nd of November, it doesn't matter who you are, when you are in the military, you slowly turn into uh, a copy of the person next to you. Every soldier uh, will agree that war completely, completely changed the person you are and brings out sides of yourself that you haven't seen before. A lot of the soldiers also write in their letters how bad they feel about not being able to feed and help all of the hungry children they see who are begging for food. One soldier, Mihalikis, even defied direct orders from his superiors and threw a cold bottle of water to some of the begging children when nobody saw him. Overall, the soldiers experienced troubling, you know, troubles dealing with the cynicism of the war. The letters are reliable as they are written by soldiers who are actually there to document the actions that took place. Of course, some of the soldiers may have their reasons to make it sound a certain way. Some soldiers might have uh, made their letters sound sweeter than they actually were to calm down their families at home. And some soldiers might want their families to feel a certain way about the military. These are the small doubts you can have about uh, the reliability of the letters. Anyhow, the letters show the trouble the American soldiers uh, go through to serve their country. It can be hard for the Americans sitting at home to imagine what it's like to be at war. And these letters might make it uh, a little easier for the Americans at home to identify with the soldiers and what they are going through in war against foreign countries and cultures. The letters uh, contain both post positive and negative content about being in the military so it uh, can also provide information for this discussion about whether the military is a good or bad thing. The information from the letters can help some uh, Americans toward creating their own opinion about the US military. In that way, it can lead to, lead to a uh, more varied and constructive uh, discussion on the subject.